Respected principal, teachers, and my dear friends, a very good morning to you all. I am Safo Punod from Class 6A. Today, I would like to share a few thoughts on plastic. As we all know, plastic is nearly everywhere we look, under our very nose, turn left and right, move front and back. We, you can't see a place where there's no plastic. Well, there may be your back to shoes, bed to lunchbox, uniform buttons to eyeglass frame, plastic has become an essential part of our life. You may wonder, hearing the statistics, what I am going to say about plastic. Between the years 1950 and 2017, an estimated 9.2 billion tons of plastic have been made. To make you wonder more, more than half this plastic has been produced since the year 2004. Above all, in the year 2020, around 400 million tons of plastic were produced. If global trends on plastic demands continue, it is estimated that by the year 2050, the annual global plastic production will reach over 1.1 billion tons. The synthetic material called plastic has been with us for more than 100 years and researchers continue rediscovering its potentials time and again. Now, let's explore more about plastic and their applications in everyday life. In the 21st century, there are numerous and important applications in, for plastic in certain industries and this raw material has completely or partially replaced other components such as steel, glass, natural fabrics or wood. Let's see the areas where plastic are most commonly used. These include study materials, packaging, automotive, transportation, industry, electronics, construction, furniture, household appliances, appliances, home electronics, smart devices, clothing and footwear. Also, plastic are widely used in contemporary medicine, sports, and in toys industry. They work well in farms, horticulture, fencing, and tool, tool production. And what makes people to love plastic is low production costs, high durability, lightweight, and the ability to reshape it into transparent depending on our requirements. However, before we use plastic in abundance, we must think of our mother nature and future generation. We must understand that Plastic do not decompose easily and remain in the earth for, for, uh, for a long time, as some plastic may even take 400 years or more to completely decompose. This can cause harm to the environment largely. Heavy use of plastic increases pollution since most of the waste lands up in rivers, oceans and other water resources. We have witnessed this during the 2018 and 2019 floods when tons of plastic waste were floating around and dumped in our lowlands. Moreover, studies reveal that eating in plastic boxes can cause cancer and burning plastic releases toxic materials into the environment. Now, let's think for some solutions to combat the danger of plastic and pollution. It is nothing but reducing the use and recycling. Because recycled plastic are considered as a valuable raw material used for making many things like furniture, decorations, toys and clothing. There are numerous awareness campaigns taking place throughout the world and I ask myself and each one of you to be a part of such noble efforts in order to save our nature and ourselves from the danger of plastic. With this, let me conclude my speech. Thank you for your patient listening and kind attention.